Well, big changes could be coming after the, DC the DCF found agencies in charge of protecting this Largo toddler here missed some serious warning signs. Deputies say his mother killed him four months after regaining custody. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee is live now. Heather, this new report is getting the attention of our new governor. Yeah, Governor Ron DeSantis says that uh, those that are responsible will be held accountable and that he fully supports DCF in their full review of the foster care system in Pinellas County. Now that report that was released yesterday shows that the two agencies that were in charge of Jordan Bellevue's case ignored concerns about his mother, Cherie Stinson, like possible drug use, domestic violence and missed appointments. DCF says they also didn't check in on Jordan weekly like they should have and never put down uh, anger management classes on Stinson's case plan, even after she asked for them. In September, both agencies defended their actions in getting Stinson custody of her son. Both agencies say they are making changes to ensure what happened to Jordan never happens again. Directions for Living, the main agency handling Jordan's case, say they have parted ways with the primary case manager, but every other person in this case has been, uh, has been disciplined and then, of course, retrained. For now, we're live in Pinellas County. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.